one love. Just to finish up that thought, of course, it's a little bit less likely to see Jung Sung Un in a final of a major tournament, like a Platinum Series event, than Ma Long. But it will encourage players to play more and participate, and give you, the fans, a chance to see your favorite players love. more often. Love, two. Excellent off the bounce backhand, Jung Ji Hee, the only left-handed player on the court right now. In doubles, we tend to see right-handed, left-handed combos. That shot right there is Timo Bull style, the bending backhand, hooking out wide to the forehand of the right-handed opponents. Three, one. Excellent Chiquita on the receive from Swinging Sha. Getting into the ball while it's still high. Two, four. Now the quality of shot coming off of the two right-handed players in red is so high quality that they're actually forcing the right and left-handed pair from Korea to be running around, to be sort of traffic jamming up in the backcourt. Just so you know, seating-wise, Sun Ying Sha, 42nd seed in the singles. <laughs> Two, five. Look at the way she turns on that ball and wraps around it. She's very fast, quite creative as well. Five, three. Even from off the table, even though she misses that shot, she's bold. She's not afraid to go for a big backhand. Calling the serves confidently. Five, four. Chen Xing Tong is world ranked 49 for the seedings of this tournament. 30th seed in the tournament. Oh. That backhand is so smooth. On the line again. This is my first real experience to look at swinging shot play. Saw her for a few points throughout the tournament and was like, man, I've got to see this girl play again. And you'll have the chance to tomorrow. She's moved on in the women's singles event over Sean Xiaona just earlier today. Seven, five. It's always exciting to see the new hit, to see the up and coming players. And they're sprouting left and right in Japan. You can find a new 16-year-old, 17-year-old, sometimes even younger, breaking into the world tour, moving their way up, climbing in the world rankings. But from China, there's a lot of focus on the players, the big four. It's nice to see what they have behind the curtain, so to speak. Touch and change of pace from Yang Hang Un. Seven, eight. So anytime the Korean pair can get in early with these deep shots to the backhand, they're driving the Chinese pair off the table a little bit more time to react. If they're equally distant from the table, it's gonna to be tough for the Korean pair to keep up. Ah! Nine, 
Nice. Beautiful long push from Chun Shing Tong to start it off. Excellent flip, a double specialist right there coming in on the receive game. And reading the spin, light top, a lot of side from Chun Xing Tong. Again, that shovel serve, Go Tzu. Heavy top spin, and Yang Hong does not have a lot of room to backswing. Well placed from the Chinese pair to jam him up deep in Yang Hong's forehand. Get Jun Ji Hee deep in her backhand corner. Two game points for the young Chinese pair. Softer but spinnier ball from Jun Ji Hee. Change of pace. Slightly cautious play from Chun Xing Tong. We see this a lot when players get right near the finish line. Match point and they soften up a little bit. You also see people getting overly ambitious, taking too much spin off the ball. Ah! Pressure. Swinging shot with a big shot covering the body. But the Korean pair fighting to keep it alive. Waiting to see if Chun Ching Tong was going to give confirmation of the service call. <laughs> oh, no! What a point! She was mid chaw when it came down on the edge of the table. This point was incredible to begin with. Counter loop after counter loop. And as the fist starts to clinch, Chun Ching Tong, man. This is a best of five, so game one is such a large percentage. The biggest upsets happen in the best of five, or in theory, in a best of three. The shorter the match, the more likely the upset. 11, 11 time. And the spinning 12, backhand, Yang ha game. and Chun Ji Hee trail the whole game and come back to win 12-10 in game one. Again, inspire, fan, inspire fans around the world to do the same, to show up at the events and to cheer loudly and support the players. One lock. Now when I watch Chun Ji Hee and Yang ha play doubles together, despite the difference in world ranking and Chun Ji Hee doing better in singles, I feel like Yang Haun often carries a little bit more weight in the doubles match, but Jun Ji Hee is doing an excellent job of turning from the middle and using her forehand in this match. Ah! Nice parallel <laughs> shot right down the line. Yang Haun taking advantage of an out of position teammate, or opponent's teammate anyway. Two right handed players getting jammed up there. And the movement and the chemistry right now with Jun Ji Hee and Yang Hoon is clearly a bit smoother than the Chinese pair. It was weird to say because it was only two points between the two of them in game one. Three, one. But I think noticing that the movement is better on the Korean side is one thing. The speed and power, the shot quality of the Chinese pair, a bit different, a bit higher quality shots. Four, one. The ball stays really low. Oh! Beautiful backhand. Two, four. Swin just taking that ball right off the bounce, loading it with topspin. 
so low the trajectory of the shot. First towel break of the game and the Chinese pair did not leave the table. Hear the sound of that tacky forehand rubber. Three, four. Smart play. Yang Haun taking advantage once again. This is a several shot investment from the Korean pair. Deep to the backhand. They're really trying to play the wide corners early on. Sometimes a shot to the middle to get someone off balance, but in doubles they have a little bit more time as they're alternating shots. I guess it depends how you look at it. You hit your shot, you also have pressure to get out of the way too, so depends on the specific placement. Fools everybody, Yang Haun. Love to see that one one more time. Perfect. Forehand flip. Chun Ching Tong was thinking it was going the other way. Four, six. Looked to be a little bit of a heavier push than Yang Haun expected or than she thought it was, rather. <laughs> Almost Five, gets back six. for it. Young Hoon way out of position, trapped off deep in the backhand corner. Let's see this one more time. So it was that last ball that Junji he had to reach right in front. Of Yang Hoon. So Yang Hoon was just trying to get out of the way and still come back. Oh, beautiful shot. Six, smothering the ball and covering it right off the bounce. Smart play from Chun Ching Tong. Not too many options, really. She just gets there. And as she's moving the other way, this is incredibly difficult. She changes her momentum completely and covers with the racket head straight up for that backhand. coverage and use of the opponent's placement. <laughs> Yang Hoon calming herself. It's a fine balance to be calm enough to play softly over the table, to be loose. But still bring Six, out the firepower nine. when you go for it. You see this a lot by players like Leon Jin Quinn. And Fan Zhendong with explosive power can play touch shots so well as well. They have to stay relaxed and loose. They're holding the racket too tight. It's going to be too much vibration. It's going to come off the racket. Too much pace, rather, coming off the racket. Less vibration with the hard grip. Tough to play it soft. Chun Ji Hee and Yang Hoon two points away from a 2-0 lead. Again, this is a best of five final. First team to win three games will win the match and the title. Nine, eight. Short stroke on the forehand there. Jun Ji Hee not getting the power and the threat that she's been used to throughout this match. Covering the middle of the body well. Junji, he's so close to the shirt, and she's still able to turn, get the upper body out of the way, and play the forehand. If 
Third towel break of the game, and it's two game points for the Korean pair. Wow! A few of these shots coming down looked like it was over for sure, but persistence and focus. The Korean pair 11 to 8 for a 2 to 0 lead over the two young Chinese players, Sun Ying Shan and Chun Xing Tong. Stick around. Game three could be the last, or it could not be. We'll see. Stay right here to find out. Back for game number three, the Chinese pair down zero to okay. two. Chun Xing Tong with Change the serve. serve. Love it. Just like in game one, starting off with the serve. Oh. Look at the placement here, Jun Ji Hee right off the bounce into the body. A little bit of side spin on that as well. Chun Xing Tong is getting ready to move to cover the forehand. More natural instinct to go where. I mean, basically, to try to keep up with the pattern that the Koreans have created. Playing it right at the last player who hit the ball. One off. But as Chun Ching Tong steps back, Swin Ying Sha is right there for the shot. Look at the angle here. I really love her game. I'm excited to see her singles tomorrow. And we'll see, it could continue out here for doubles as well. One, two. There's no question the shot quality is there. It's just figuring out how to read the patterns of the Korean pair, how to work with your teammate, how to get in early in the point and get the, I'd say, enough pressure on the opponents to take control of the positioning. Two, four. So the Chinese pair started off beating legendary Yu Meng Yu and Feng Tianwei of Singapore, three to zero. Quite an impressive performance there. Nice recovery off the top of the net from Yang Hong. After that, they beat Chun Ko and Wang Man Yu of China, three to one. And after that, the top seeds, Honoka Hashimoto and Hitomi Sato. Top seeds toppled, says the headline on the ITTF website. Loving some of the headlines for the articles on ITTF.com. Three, four. Some of those shots so powerful, Yang Hoon takes the ball well off the bounce. But when it's a little bit softer, has to generate her own power. The timing has changed on the backhand. She's a little bit behind the table. Now, Jun Ji Hee and Yang Hoon started off beating Mini Su and Ing Wing Nam from Hong Kong, three to one after that. Elisabetta Samara and Bernadette Soch from Romania. Three, four. That was a 3-2 to two victory, and following that was Chun Su Yu and Zheng Yiqing from Chinese Taipei. That was a 3-1 to one victory. That happened earlier today. I was able to watch a little bit of that. Five, three. Excellent use of the long push. Chun Xing Tong playing wide out to the forehand of Yang Hoon. extra pressure when your opponents have a very strong opening attack to keep your short shots extra short. Yeah. Or else that's what will happen. Swinging shot with a swinging shot. She's so smooth. Three, eight. That very loose, wristy backhand. Swinging Sha. Drying the ball with their shirt. Getting ready for the serve here. Ten Pendulum three. serve at seven game points for the young Chinese pair. Eleven three. 
And 11 Game points to China. three. The 20 year old and the 16 year old from China, Chun Xing Tong and Sun Ying Sha. Move on to game number four, survive to both use their full minute. It was Xiao Zhan in the corner for the Chinese girls or women. Fourth and game. on the Korean Young side, it was Kim In Soon. That's Young Hoon's mom, who's also been the national team coach for some time in Korea. Former player herself. Pen holder. Stop. One love. And just as important as calling the serve, calling the receive suggestion. One it works out. Receive short to the forehand so I can set up for the cross court shot and rip a backhand. Now the easiest shot there is for Jun Ji Hee to do what she did and play it cross court. That's why Sun Yi Sha is calling for that receive. Two, one. Side spin from Sun Ying Sha gives some trouble to Young Hoon, bending into the backhand side. Look at the way she comes across that ball, that full body stroke. 16 was the age of Fang Zhendong when he really started taking world tour events. Super Series. One, four. Sixteen is also the age of Sun Ying Sha. Four, two. Excellent disguise on the heavy underspin serve. Now Jun Ji Hee's done this quite effectively. I saw Masataka Morizono doing something similar in men's doubles. He makes the motion with the open face of the racket, so it looks like heavy underspin. It just sort of glides the racket underneath, not adding a lot of friction to the ball. Five, two. Call that a dead serve or an empty serve, which is often popped up by a player thinking it's heavy. Three, five. Still fighting to hang in there, Jun Ji Hee and Yang Hoon trailing by two. Apologizing for missing that shot. Now, if there were graphics in between the games with statistics, that would probably go down as an unforced error. Of course, credit to the Chinese pair for high quality shot and good placement on the table. Six, four. Excellent acceleration, reaching out to the forehand, but still getting back out of the way into the backhand corner after the shot. To find balance. Six, five. That was a wise decision for Jun Ji Hee to use her backhand there. She's used to trying to step around and make it a forehand, but a much shorter stroke here costs her less time. She can also play that ball from out in front of her body, so the ball is traveling a shorter distance, which also saves her time and puts more pressure on the opponent. Swinging shot, just running through. It's a run by backhand. She's in, does her job, and flies through. Watch it one more time. One, 
This time, straight through all the way across. Unbelievable shot to do off balance. Eight, six. Forehand side as well, Sun Ying Sha. Look at this one more time. Not a lot of backstroke. Well in position, drops the racket head quickly. Oh, break Seven, off the top nine. of the net. on the spin on the receive there. I guess the serve didn't bother the receiver. Three game points for Chun Xing Tong and Sun Ying Sha. Oh, murderous shot right down seven. the line. What game a way to end China. the point. Counter loops at 80% coming all around the court. Chun Xing Tong's like, enough of this piece, I'm out of here, and rips it down the line. We are going to a fifth and... A lot of people aren't aware of that in doubles. Chun Xing Tong serving first in game one and game three, but not in game five. gets to five points, they'll not only switch sides of the table, but the order of receive will be back to the way it was in games two and four. Oh! Heavy, heavy spin to the short side of the table. First point for the Chinese pair. Two quick points right back. Not a service broken yet. Every serve has been converted for a point. Actually, the exact opposite is what I mean. Today's opposite day. Every serve has been won on the opponent's point so far. Well played. It's been a while since the first two games where we've really seen the, the Korean pair take advantage Get the two right-handed pairs caught deep in the forehand corner. Times like that, sometimes you see a Zhang Jiko where someone will squat under the table, let the ball go over their head. It's very difficult to come back up and still be oriented, though. Calibrated for the game. Four, two. Strong receive, rushing the shot off the opponents. Now again, according to world rankings and seedings and doubles, if the Korean pair can win this, it will be a much bigger feat than the numbers will suggest. But table tennis fans know that no matter the world ranking, if a Chinese player is here representing China, it's a huge accomplishment to win that match. Soft, spinny oh, shot. Great. Excellent control. Mentally and actual control of the ball for Chun Xing Tong to make that shot. Beautiful placement oh, by oh. Swinging Sha. That's two more points against serve. How unusual is this? If I'm not mistaken, every point so far 
has been won by the receiving team. Well played, and finally the pattern is broken. The Chinese pair winning their first point on a serve. Chun Xing Tong gets that spinny opening forehand. I guess when she gets to open the full stroke, it's very difficult for anyone to return. We've got a timeout at the table switch. It's going to be on the side of the Korean pair. Chao John again working with the women's team now. So in Chinese, it sounded like there was a little conversation about the short balls, playing a short shot in the receive. On the Korean side, all I had to go on was body language, really. And it seemed like stay forward, staying at the table, put the pressure on early. I mean, this is partially just strategic thinking out here. We'll see. Three points in a row have gone to the young Chinese pair. Second serve now for Swinging Sha. Oh, almost closes and covers it out wide. Heavy topspin again, it's Chun Xing Tong with that beautiful step around forehand. Excellent flip. Four, seven. The versatility of the 16-year-old swinging Sha's game. I'm a Chun Xing Tong fan as well. It's just the first time for me to see Swinging Sha. Oh, the punching backhand goes wide. Not a point for the Korean pair since they had 4-2 in the lead. It's quite interesting. It's like a human head turning from that camera angle. Trying to imagine how fast to track the ball and how quick it's actually moving from the side. A little swat of a fly there. Jun Ji Hee doesn't want to have to worry about any sort of interference of other life. Eight, five. And now the timeout coming back to the Chinese pair. Go Xiao John trying to pinch it off quickly. Cauterize the bleed, seal the wound. One point could be enough mentally. Again, we've got two pretty young players averaging 18 years old. So some clear audio there from the Korean side. Xiao Zhang, the clean shaven head in the corner. The very knowledgeable head filled with table tennis ideas. See right from the timeout coming up with ideas for the receive game side spin. I mean, he had plenty to say. Now one possibility is, again, it was mostly body language I was going on here. A forehand receive with side spin, brushing under it. Playing out wide to Junji He's forehand. Eight, five. She is the smaller of the two players on the Korean side, which means it's gonna take her longer to get across court. She'll be a bit out of position if she can reach it. Oh! For example, nine, five, nine. wide to the forehand, it took a while to get there. When Ying Sha just seems so comfortable to improvise, the way she moves around the ball, the way she takes her shots. Ah! 
and a heavy push. It is now five championship points for Chun Xing Tong and Sun Ying Sha. No, but not yet. Ben Junji, he swats it back and crushes it to the open table. No! Two quality shots. Not enough, but the crowd, the Chinese fan club, definitely getting behind their players here. One championship point saved. What a performance from the young Chinese players, and look at that hug. A great moment. And Sun Ying Sha has teeth. We got to see him for a moment. The smile there after the hug celebration. And I guess before the match and after the match, the two times we saw the smiles come out. Outstanding performance. And a tough match. The Korean pair fighting all the way.